I feel like I never really hear anybody talking about this, but this is probably my number one essential, non-negotiable, you have to get this. Welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, welcome. My name is Alyssa. I am a 24 year old first time mom and my son Reese is about to be a month old. It is crazy to think that we have survived this month. I thought I'd go ahead and do my newborn essentials of what I'm grabbing for every single day to make my day to day easier. My fiance Dakota only got two weeks off from work so we have been navigating this fully by myself at this point for two weeks. I have 10 essential items that I think everybody should get when they are either pregnant, building a registry, already a mother, what have you. Get these items to make your life easier. So without further ado, let's get into it. For my first essential that I honestly didn't think that I would be so attached to, it's my boppy. I use this thing all day, every day for so many different things. I use it when I nurse Reese. Um, it just makes honestly holding him so much easier. It just gives him a spot to kind of rest and to give my arm a break. We use it for tummy time. We use it to prop him up in the bed if we're just hanging out. It's honestly such a versatile product and it's not that expensive. I highly recommend that everybody get themselves a boppy. I do also have the My Breast Friend pillow. I used that in the hospital with Reese and I used it for probably the first probably the first week or so when I came home and I was really trying to understand how to breastfeed because it really is a learning curve and it takes a bit of practice for you and for the baby. And so I don't regret getting the My Breast Friend pillow. I think it honestly gave me a lot more confidence in breastfeeding because you just feel a lot more secure with it. But now that I've kind of gotten a hang of how to do it and I'm a little bit more comfortable, I grab the boppy almost every time. So get yourself a boppy. Highly, highly, highly recommend this. My next newborn essential, some people are either for it or you're really against it, but we have the Docatot. I actually got this off of Facebook Marketplace and I wasn't sure if I was gonna keep it. I was thinking about reselling it on Facebook Marketplace before Reese was even born, but I decided to keep it and I'm so happy that I did. We live in a two-story house and so downstairs we never really thought of a spot of where we're gonna put the baby when we can't hold him. And so it's great, we can put it on the counter when we're cooking dinner, we put it on the table when we're eating, it sits on the ottoman for our sectional, and so it's just kind of a really good spot to just kind of put them, it's comfortable. Obviously never leave the baby in it unsupervised, someone's always watching him. I'm a psychopath about like, are you breathing sort of situation, but it's, it seems really comfortable for him and it's a great spot to kind of just put him when we just need two hands or we just need a break and he's just content hanging out here. Also, if you can see my nails, don't look too closely. I haven't got them done. We're in survival mode, clearly, at this point. <laughs> um, you're lucky I'm wearing a shirt for this video. I feel like I just walk around in a bra all day long because I'm breastfeeding so much. So, don't judge me. Just, it's a judgment-free zone here on this channel. Um, so definitely consider getting a Dakota, a Snuggle Me Organic. They also make, I think it's a baby nest. It's like a, a dupe, almost and you can get them for, for a lot cheaper off of Amazon as well. So just a spot to kind of put the baby. It's a really good thing to kind of just have in your arsenal. So docker top for sure. Next to kind of go along with my breastfeeding newborn essentials because babies really just eat, sleep, and poop. I highly recommend getting a haka. This obviously just got washed so it looks a little weird right now, but it's great for catching your letdown. So I have such an excessive amount of freezer stash of breast milk at this point. So you pretty much, if I am nursing Reese on this boob, I will go ahead and just put this on my other boob and they'll catch it and I can end up bagging it and freezing it. If you're unfamiliar with how it works, make sure that if you do decide to get a haka that you do know how to properly put it on. So you'll want to go ahead and just bend this part back and then you're gonna attach it onto your boob and then you'll suction this part in. And so you'll suction and then you'll let this part release and then you'll have a really good suction on it and then it'll stay. So definitely get a haka if you are breastfeeding and you'd like to build a stash. It doesn't require really any extra work. You don't need to pump or do anything like that. And it's a relatively cheap product to have, but it's 
in my opinion, like, you can't put a price tag on this. Like, I would buy this if it was $100. I love my Hakka. For my next essential, and I feel like I never really hear anybody talking about this, but this is probably my number one essential, non-negotiable, you have to get this. It's my Huckleberry app on my phone. Basically, me and Dakota, it makes our lives so much easier. It keeps us so organized. It's free, 100%, but it tracks when we changed his diaper, when he ate last, the left boob, the right boob, for what side he fed on, for how long. It tracks how long he sleeps for. It gives you a summary of the night hours versus the day. You can do all sorts of different things. It's great when I go to the pediatrician, he asks how much does he poop a day. I can just pull up the app and it tells me right there. And so I don't know why I don't ever hear anybody talking about these kinds of apps. Maybe I'm just like type A and OCD, but I love my Huckleberry app. I cannot recommend it enough. Dakota has it signed into his phone too, and so he can update it whenever he's doing anything with Reese as well. This is great because it sets reminders. You know, you need to feed Reese. It's been four hours or however long. So definitely look into getting the Huckleberry app right in the app store if you have an iPhone, and so it's free. You can choose to pay for a paid version, but I have the free version and we are loving it. My next newborn essential is going to be footy jammies. Reese lives in these probably 98% of the time. For most of the time, he's just hanging out in these. I highly, 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 highly recommend if you're gonna do it, make sure you get ones that are zippers and you get ones that have built-in mittens on them. Try to avoid ones that just have the ones at the top. So this one I have, of course, I like the cute little fabric that it is, but it just has the one at the top. And so sometimes at nighttime for diaper changes, I'm like half asleep and like looking for zippers at this point. I love the ones that just start at the foot. It makes diaper changes so much easier. Reese probably has probably about like 15, no, that's a little crazy. Maybe like 12, no, probably like 15 footies. I just think that they're so easy to use. You don't have to worry about messing with pants and buttons and pulling shirts down. Just highly recommend just stocking up on these. You can never have too many footies. For my next newborn essential, I'm gonna be 100% honest with you. The jury is still kind of out on this. We have the Hatch Mini. And basically it's just a sound machine that we keep right by his bassinet in our room. We use it every single day. So when I was kind of coming up with my list for newborn essentials, I thought about this and I had to put it on because we do use it every single day. I don't find that he sleeps better with it. I don't know if that's just because he's too young, but everybody raves about the white sound machine and I'm just not really noticing like a longer stretch of sleep with or without it, if that makes sense. And so if you are an experienced mom, tell me that maybe I just need to give it some more time and once he kind of gets a steadier sleep schedule, this will make more of a difference. But at this point, I don't really notice it. However, I will say we do use it every single day. I'm trying to do an association with only playing this at nighttime so he kind of understands the difference between day and night. Um, we'll see how that works. Sometimes he gives me really good long stretches of sleep and sometimes he's waking every two hours. So the jury's still kind of out on this one. Next is burp cloths. We have about like 15 muslin burp cloths and they kind of just go over our shoulder like this. And these things just like cycle all over the house. Like I feel like anywhere you look, you can find a burp cloth. Reese isn't really a spit up baby like whatsoever. Thankfully at this point, please stay that way. But it's just kind of great just to kind of grab a little bit of drool. If he like spits up a little bit, we need to wipe something off. Definitely just stock up on a ton of burp cloths. I feel like you can never have too many. I do recommend the muslin. You'll kind of notice a trend. I'm like obsessed with it but I just find that it's so light and so versatile that you can kind of just use it and wear it however you need to, no matter what you're doing, and you don't find yourself getting overly hot with it. Reese is a little hot pocket, and so when I have him resting here and I'm burping him and he's just so hot, I couldn't imagine having like one of those thermal burp cloths. So consider getting the muslin ones. They sell them on Amazon, so I think in like packs of like 10, so you can just load up there, so burp cloths for sure. For my next essential, it's the Kikaru Peanut Changer. It's just a silicone, changing mat that we keep on top of his dresser. I feel like I am that 1% that never changes their child's diaper unless it's at his actual changing table. People talk all the time about how like, oh no, you're just gonna wanna change that baby when you're downstairs on the couch or you're in your bed. Like I feel like that never happens. 
I'm super tall, so I don't find it comfortable to be like bending over to do it. I prefer standing up. And so I think that I am like super reliant on just having my station set up and I like everything where it's supposed to be. And this has definitely made it easier. I think Reese has only actually peed while getting changed once, at least for me. I don't, I don't I haven't heard any stories from Dakota. So it was great when he peed, I could just wipe it off really easy and it was no problem. They do make cheaper versions of this. I know that there is a Bumbo one you can get and there's also a Skip Hop one that you can get that just wipes off. But to be 100% honest with you, those regular like $20 ones you can grab from Target, that's like the stereotypical ones you see would work just fine. Because going along with this, we put a liner in there just like this. It's a three pack we got off of Amazon, mainly because I don't like Reese to be upset and the silicone does get very cold. And so it's just nice to kind of have him rest on this. If he ends up peeing or spitting up on this, it's just a quick grab and throw it in the laundry. But I will say, honestly, this is no real different than just having to change the sheet on the foam pad. So you really could just get by, in my opinion, with doing the regular $20 ones that people talk about. Oh, it's such a hassle to, to change the sheet every time. I really don't find it that big of a hassle. And so if I didn't want this strictly for aesthetic purposes, because I'm not gonna lie, I wanted this because I thought it would look cute in the nursery. I honestly would just go with like the regular one. It's not that big of a deal. Just have like two sheets that you rotate. We honestly only ever have two, one that's being washed and one that's being used for the liners, which is no different than sheets on the actual plain $20 changing pads. So whatever you choose to do, get a silicone one, get a regular one, what have you. Just make sure you grab a changing pad. That way it's easier on a spot to change him and you have everything kind of organized for you. My next newborn essential is Binkies. We're really gonna get a close up of my ratchet nails here, but we have the Bibbs brand. This is the one that Reese prefers. He honestly never really, I don't even think I gave him a different Binky. It was just kind of, he took it and I didn't really argue with it. So he probably has about six or seven of these that linger around the house at this point. He's not a super Binky baby, but sometimes when he's just like slightly fussy, kind of trying to go to bed, not really sure what he wants, we'll give him a Binky and it'll just kind of calm him down, which is nice to kind of save yourself the hassle of like, is he hungry? Like trying to sort out what it is, especially if he's just eaten. It's like no way you could be hungry again. So it saves my boobs, that's for sure. So I recommend getting the binkies. He doesn't always have it in and sometimes he'll sleep with it, but most of the time he'll end up spitting it out like 20 minutes into his sleep anyways. But I think everyone should have a binky just for their peace of mind if like you're like exhausted, it's three in the morning, you can't figure out why he's being fussy, try and give him a binky and see if it calms him down. I think it's just the soothing of the sucking that really helps sometimes. So Bibs binkies for sure are great quality, super cute, very neutral, and we have a ton of them. And honestly, that's it. That's 10 of my newborn essentials that I have. I hope this helps you kind of give you the understanding that you don't need a ton of items. You can keep it pretty basic. Different items are out there for you depending on what your budget is. And so the essentials really just can be kind of kept pretty basic. Sleep, eat, and change what is gonna help you to make that easier. And so hopefully this helps you guys out as well. So if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. It really does help my channel and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.